In other news this noon, a North Philadelphia shop right devastated by looters is once again back open for business. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed is at the store this afternoon where the reopening happened faster than a lot of people were expecting, Alicia. That's right, Janelle. After last weekend's looting, the thought was that this wouldn't reopen for months, possibly up to a year, but that's not the case. The store is a little boarded up, but they're back up and running and workers are grateful to have their jobs back this morning. There was a huge turnout from the community this morning. Members from a number of church were here joining in prayer. One speaker said the president and CEO of Brown Superstores not only puts bread on their tables, he also puts bread in their pockets. The owner here hires a vast majority of black and brown people and also gives those transitioning from the prison system into society a second chance. So this reopening is huge for the people people in this community and when looters hit last weekend not only did the most comprehensive supermarket in the area close it affected those that depend on it for critical needs when tragedy hit the first thought we had how are people going to get their food the next morning how are they going to get their medicine so we're not going to worry about first if we have insurance which we do we're not going to worry about that we're going to worry about how we get this store open and take care of the people we care about. Yeah. And here we are. Hundreds of members from black churches offered to stand guard to watch over the store, but there's no need. There are now armed guards in the strip mall and police patrolling periodically. The shop right of Parkside, where there was even more damage, will officially reopen on Monday, but they do have a soft opening and prayer celebration on Sunday. Reporting live from North Philly, Alicia Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News. A lifeline for that community, Alicia. Thank you.